Okay, guys, last time we looked at registers, right? And that's where uh, the FANUC does its math. And it can add and subtract, multiply and divide. But it is not a calculator. You don't buy this machine to do math. You, you, you buy this machine to, to do products, to do production. And so the reason we have a register is so that we can create a cycle or a loop. If you're in uh, another language, you may call it a for loop or a while loop or a loop of some kind. And, and the purpose of it is so that the machine does a repetitive process so many times. And we use the register to count that. And so it's a counting mechanism. Let's see if today we're going to use that counting mechanism, that register, data register. We're going to add a jump label, a label, and an if statement. We got lots of things to add today. So what I'm going to do is we're going to work our way through a program. So you can see how it works. And then we're going to take in the next video and build a program. But right now, um, let's just see how this program works because it, it's a fairly complicated program and it can be an extremely useful program in time in, in the future. So let me get out of the way and we're going to get to our robo guide. You know, it's robo guide time, right? Why else would we be here? Okay. so. Let's call up uh, our eye pendant. There she be. And let's see if I can, uh, I believe you've already done this. I believe that we did this last time. We set up a user frame, a user number, and we got a register and we set it to zero, right? Fantastic. So now then, let's go to one that I set up just a few minutes ago. And this way, I just want you to see how this works. Okay, I have a fault. So let's get rid of that fault so we don't have that problem. Okay, I want you to look at this. Um, we have the exact same thing. I'm going to get rid of this for just a second so that it's not in the way. We're going to take our user frame and we're going to make it our tool frame. We're made it. And this is our, our register. And we've done all that. That's, that's not new. But the next step is, and it's a label. And the way we create this label is from the, from the instruction. When we have instruction, it has a label right here. And so we'll just click on that. And that's where we would insert our label. Uh-oh. Let me back. Or not. Oh, I see what the problem is. I have my shift key on. I sometimes think the shift key just comes on just to irritate me. Okay, and then we get our label, right? It's a placeholder. It's a place in a program that says, if you want to jump back here, this is label one. Then we called our test, which you know how to do. Then we put our counter, and our counter was register one equals register one plus one. Register one, we set to zero, that'd be zero, equals zero plus one. What would that be? One, right? Now register two, register, register uh, we're not going to go back up here. We're going to come to here. So now when we get come back up to start again, register is going to equal one, not zero. Anyway, let's go on. Now we have an if statement. And the if statement says, if register one is less than three, jump to label one. Jump to label one. Jump to label one. So here it goes, oh, jump to label one. There's label one. Now I didn't go back up to register. I just went to label. If I go to register, it'll set it back to zero. I don't want to set it back to zero. I want to leave it at one. So I'm going to put it here. We're going to call the, the uh, line, linear program. We're going to count it. That'd be two. It's still less than three. We're going to jump back up. We're going to do it again. Now, this time when it gets here, it's if it's less than three, but it's not less than three this time, it's equal to three. The computer is able to determine if it's true or false, if it's on or if it's off. Well, 
it equals three. So this time it's false. So it's going to not do this. It's going to come call the circle example. All right. With all that explanation, let's just run it. Let's get it in step. We have it at 100%. We're going to forward it, forward it. it set the data to zero. You see it's at zero. It's at zero. Now we're going to put label one. So we're going to label right here. Label one is just a position holder above the program I want to run. Uh-oh, my thing is frozen. What happened here? Oh, I'm hitting enter, not forward. Okay, here we go. We're going to call our program. And there it is. It came up. We're going to run through our program. And if you watch, there it is. It's doing it. Great, right? It's doing it. Now it's out. Now it's counting it. One. It went up. It's not equal to three. So it's going to do it again. Three. There's two. Uh oh, it counted it. It wasn't. It wasn't less. Uh, if it's less than three, here we go. Now this time it's going to be equal to three. All right. Now this time when I click this, it's going to go. Uh oh, it's equal to three. It's going to come down to this if statement, and the if statement says if it's less than three, jump label. But this time it's not equal to three or it's not less than three, it's equal to three. So it's going to allow it to go on to number eight. And when we do number eight, it's gonna call up our circle. It's gonna call up our circle. And by golly, our circle. Now guys, we could do this circle five times just by setting a register, setting it to zero, label, jump label, if statement, we're ready to go. We can do the circle five times. We can do however many things you want to do, however many times you want to do it. It gives us the ability to, to set a number of times in a program. Now, what I'd like for you to do, your assignment on this, is just to watch this a couple of times. Get an idea of what that program's like, because on the next one, we're going to program it. And you just kind of need to have an idea of what it is so we can program it so that we come up with the right answer, okay? Uh, let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. And we're back to here. So just review that a couple of times. We're going to add an if statement. We're going to add a jump statement. We're going to add a label. And we're going to use the data registers. This is section two, part two of the data register. That's what the data register is used for. I guess I haven't got anything else I can add except the best of luck. If you need help, give me a holler.